What's going on, y'all? This be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV-based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Friday, and I intend on doing the exact same thing. What's going on, you guys? Now, before we get into today's mess, let me let you guys know what's coming up on the horizon, okay? Now, as you all know, every Sunday, I will be going live right after the Real Housewives of Potomac to give you guys my live review every Sunday night at 9.05, so make sure you guys tune in for that and then on monday it is the whether you like it or not panel and we will be over on giving you the real tease platform so make sure you guys tune in to that all right so with that being said you guys that's pretty much all that we got for the church announcement so we're going to go ahead and get into what we're here to discuss and that is real housewives of atlanta's brit Eady and real housewives of atlanta veteran kenya moore now as you guys already know um the real housewives of atlanta started filming their 16th season back in may or april of 2020 which is this year um the cast was revealed and brit Edie was one of the newbies on the show however early on in the season kenya moore had this you know kenya moore hair care event or it was about her beauty salon or her beauty spa or whatever that was they had an event that was filmed for the show and kenya and brit had an altercation um which led to Kenya Moore being suspended from filming the rest of the season, which later on introduced us to the return of Phaedra Parks. Um, Kenya has spoken on this issue many times before, but Britt really hasn't spoken on it that much outside of making, you know, little posts on Instagram stories. But recently in an interview that she did with a, with a podcaster, she talked about her issues with Kenya as well as her issues with the rest of the cast and how threatened they are about her and her marriage. But let's get into what she said about, let's get into what she had to say about the cast first. And then we're going to get into what child really came here for. And that is the King of More talk. So let's hear what she got to say about the cast. They're just reality stars. stars. Yes. They don't have real, they're empires. not entrepreneurs exactly. or business women. Exactly. Yeah. Do you feel like anybody else in your cast has a healthy relationship? You just answered the question. Why you got to think that hard, Brick? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be politically I'm correct. To, wait, I'm, I'm trying to be honest. <laughs> Mike got the to answer. To be honest, to be honest, <laughs> be politically no. correct, That's honest. No, crazy. um, I haven't seen it. Haven't but seen it. then again, I'm like, I don't know everybody's relationship, but just what I've but seen. You're around it. I've been around it some. Could, it could exist, but she just hasn't seen it. Yeah, it, it's possible, That's but right I, I personally haven't seen it. Right. And and I know when Mike comes around, everybody's threatened. So y'all are threatened when you and see something that looks real. They might be going, they, you might think they're going home to their husband, but they really going home to their friend. Yeah, to their homegirl, like you home said, girl. for the most part. I didn't even think about <laughs> that. Think right about it. Yeah. Think yeah. about it. I didn't even think, think about, about it. that. That's crazy. Yeah. Think about it. Crazy. They want That's you to true. think true. they're going home to their man. But if you marry, why are you in the streets every night? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think any night. any married woman and they have a respectable husband will want their woman in the street. Oh, I know exactly who you're talking about. So so with, so with, like after you know after finishing recording, is this something you would do again? I, I kind of don't really got much of a choice. I guess I mean <laughs> yeah. like, shit, we here no, now. We might go there. Ain't no backing out. It's no, like, ain't no backing we're out. We're here now. now. Yeah, yeah, whether you did another so, year or not, yeah. it still would be there. Like I will the say, celebrity. I will say the the part that I am excited about is I get to I get to create my own narrative. Exactly. No right. matter what happens on the show, I have the ability to speak, you know, my own truth. Yes. Right. And um, I think that, you know, speak our own truth and we can create, you know, our reality in real life. Yeah. So they're just they reality kind of stars. Influence. Yes, they don't have. Okay, so that was pretty much Britt Edie talking about the relationships that the other cast members have with their men. Now, a lot of people in the comments were believing that she was shading Shamia when she said something about, you know, always being in the streets and never really being at home with her husband. And then, you know, um, you know, because there's there's a couple of other wives on that show besides Brittany. I know that we all know that Shami is married to her husband. Um, we know that Kelly was going through a divorce. Um, Portia is going through a divorce. A lot of them are going through a divorce. I think the only ones that are really married besides Britt and Shamia is probably Angela Oakley. Um, she's still married to her husband. But other than that, um, it doesn't look like um, she's going to be getting along with a lot of these girls. Um we know that Drew um going through a divorce. So, you know, 
I don't know what it, I, I honestly don't know. It looks like she's not getting along with most of these girls. She came on the show with her best friend, um, Kelly. And from what it looks like, they're no longer friends. So I don't know what's going on with these dynamics of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, but I will say that I'm definitely interested in it. And I know that a lot of people want to write this girl off because of her altercation with Kenya, but I'm not, ne- I'm not necessarily going to write her off right about now. I'm going to give her ass a chance because I feel like she's going to be good TV. You know, the villain is that we need for this show. Who knows? I don't know, but we're going to see. Now we're going to go ahead and get into what she had to say about what actually happened between her and Kenya. Let's take a listen. So, you know, I've personally met Kenya. Yeah. And I swear to God, the first day we were all in the room that I met yeah. Kenya, I can sense that when you... grab a little shot for that one. Listen, I, we were having a conversation and <laughs> I could hear her and another person talking about you. And this is kind of my first time being around all the ladies. So I'm yep. like, what is the... They were just teaming up Picking. on her. I saw this with my own eyes, right? But me not it. knowing everybody well enough, I didn't really say anything. I just kind of peeped the room. And then next thing I know, we're at an event. It's some, that person's event. And she chooses to make that event about Brick. Craziness, right? She wants to start a yeah, narrative about Brick. Up. I was so mad because that day I was doing media. And I had just got on the carpet and told her, congratulations. You know, I'm so happy for you. This is empowering women. And yeah. here you go and completely do the opposite. Karma. So now, karma is real. fast forward, karma is real. my girl Britt will forever go down in history as the one that got the girl off the show. <laughs> That's, hey, I said pretty it. Much. I said it pretty much. <laughs> and I feel like a lot of people are happy about that. I feel like the people that are her fans, when they see what really happened and how it played out, because this is just, it's, it's, it was diabolical. Sometimes you gotta you gotta remember the the what you put out in some way somehow will come right back. Um, what you get fold. back, what you will get back. Yes. That's right. So you know, karma is real. Yes. So, and you know, we will see on <laughs> season sixteen how it unravels, and you know, a lot of people are going to be shocked, and I did not anticipate. This being my first season dealing with, you know, with everything that came along with this whole fiasco with with Kenya. And um, I mean, it this was a very intense season. Um, yeah, they were jealous. And y'all think, see, the thing is, people be thinking like celebrities. Oh, they so confident. They so happy. They are the not always insecure like ones. That. The most mm-hmm. insecure ones. And as soon as they see a threat, then, you yeah. know, they want somebody half their age young. Half. <laughs> I mean, she was born. I mean, some are born in the 60s. For real? I, I didn't even realize she was that old. Oh. <laughs> it is, yeah. 69? Oh my God. Yeah, like. Yeah. They're too old to be acting that way. Yeah. Too old. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, like you, would, you would be you, acting you that would way. Think. Or right. you would think if you're on a, a, a show like Housewives that you would have built an empire or been able to create some motion but they didn't have she see that's what i just said she didn't really have the motion before she started so a lot of these women they're not business women they get on the show and they only make the show money they're just reality stars yes they don't have real they're not entrepreneurs or business women so Okay, so that was Britt Edie talking to the podcaster lady about her experience with Kenya Moore and how we will see it unravel on The Real Housewives of Atlanta for season 16. Now, I know that I see a lot of people in the comments, as I said before, and they're already giving Britt the blues. They're already saying that, you know, her getting Kenya off the show is not the flicks that she thinks it is. It only makes people, it makes it easier for people to dislike her. But I don't know why, because we don't really know what happened. All we know is what they were saying in the streets about what happened. But what we can say is that it is going to be interesting to see what really went down. Everybody wants to know, and I definitely want to know, and I'm not going to write Brit off right now. I'm really going to give her a chance and see what's really going to happen and what's really going down with that because it had to be a lot for Kenya to be suspended. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit back and we're going to wait and we're going to watch it and we're going to give it a chance. I'm a firm believer in giving a person a chance when they first get on this show. And I already have my favorites on this show, which is Shamia. Shamia has always been my favorite friend of. I always have liked Shamia. I've always wanted Shamia to have a peach. And I like Drew. So I already got, you know, we already got them. 
So when it comes down to the newbies, I'm willing to give Britt a chance. I'm willing to give Angela a chance. I'm willing to give Kelly a chance. Y'all know I don't fuck with Phaedra with a lying ass. You know, that's how I feel. And I'm willing to give Cynthia um, another chance. You know, I'm willing to give it all a chance because Real Housewives of Atlanta is one of those shows that built the Scotty by Nature brand alongside Love and Hip Hop Atlanta and Basketball Wives. The, these were the three shows that built my channel into what it is today. So with that being said, I'm never going to turn my back on it. I'm always going to give it a shot. So let's give this show a shot and see exactly what they're going to give, right? Because that's how I feel about it. So we're going to see. But what I, I just want to know what you guys think. Do you guys think that Britt is talking out of her ass as a newbie? Do you think that um, she's doing herself any favors by speaking on this Kenya Moore situation? Or do you think that Kenya is the evil toad that they're saying that she is? Leave it down below, y'all. With that being said, y'all, just be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, and also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. And if you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below. With that being said, you guys, your boys up out of here, and I will see you guys on the next one, and I will leave you guys with Ben Bando featuring Alanda the Blonde with Don't Sweat. Bye. Don't shake your ass, booty acting up. Don't grab your drinks, let me pass the Dutch. Damn, shorty bad, looking bad as fuck. Don't sweat it. Ain't no competition, I said it. Don't exist for the beef, motherfucker, I did it. Pull up, knock your coins like Mario. Couldn't stop me do 100 miles of cardio. Damn. You niggas stay faking, you niggas stay hating, you niggas so basic. You felt the wind, so don't test me, nigga. My team, you leave the weapon, Joe Pesci, nigga. The hate to send me wins, so I cause them frustration. Hate to see my name, so I give them penetration. Bro, running this race on you fucking lanes. Spin the block, get both bitch, suck it, shame, bam. Don't sweat, 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 don't sweat,